Good to go? Yep, ready when you are. See if, I'll so, see how long you get before interruption. So, Rumpus said that there are no independent variables in a hypothesis. So, from the nature of science and the scientific method. Oh, and he said this on many occasions prior to this that I have filed. But let's just go with this one because everyone heard it. So, a hypothesis. This is from the nature of science and the scientific method. A hypothesis also contained prediction about its verifiability. For example, if a hypothesis is true, then one should happen when two is manipulated. In the an first experiment. blank is the dependent variable. Sorry. It depends on what you're again, doing. Sorry, John. This... Of course, Rumpus couldn't contain himself, so I had to use my mute button. I had no option because you were literally mid-sentence. So do you want to start again? Sorry. No, that's okay. So, from the nature of science and the scientific method, a hypothesis, the hypothesis should contain a prediction about its verifiability. For example, if the hypothesis is true, then one should happen when two is manipulated. The first blank is the dependent variable. It depends on what you are doing in the second blank. And the second blank, number two, is the independent variable. You manipulate it to get a reaction. There should be no other variables in the experiment that may affect the dependent variable. So, Rumpus, you would fail fifth grade general science. Mate, Thank you very made, much. Made damn sure that the uh, hangout didn't hear a word of that. But there we go. In the my audience. hypothesis, you've got three variables. The audience got to hear it. You try and reduce right. the independent variable to one. Okay, thank you, Nathan. Very informative uh, information. Unfortunately, Rumpus couldn't contain his anus mouth. You're an idiot, I'm afraid. But, <laughs> you, don't, you don't seem to know the basics about proposing a globe theory. So, I'm sorry. <laughs> where are your where are your NASA tapes that you are digitizing? I'm sorry. You don't have any. Well, oh. okay, you might be okay. I'll take it. Okay, I'll accept you're doing a good job if you're digitizing those assets. That is a that is a that is a challenge. So well done for that. I'll give you that one. Well done. But please, for God's sake, learn about the position of Polaris and moving, changing latitude, changes the angle instead of um, and that proves the sphericity of the Earth because as you change latitude, the angle to the uh, Polaris changes. That wouldn't happen on a flat Earth. And you the let Rumpus. Nathan get away with getting that's, away with that. Was that's just lovely. What about you getting away with... Sorry, Rumpus, you claimed that a hypothesis doesn't have an independent variable. That's only it in has an variables. experiment. But in the experiments, you have an independent variable. Yes, and, you and in the hypothesis. Variables. And John knows this. John Sorry, knows it's on screen. Sorry, it's on screen that. and it was read. You just didn't listen. You talked the entire time like stupid people do. So can you see it on screen? There should be no other variables in the experiment, not in the hypothesis. Jesus Christ, look at sorry. it, read it for God's sake. Yes, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> sorry, <throat> just for Rumpus, there hold on. No other Rumpus, variables in the Rumpus, experiment. try to listen, you just don't shout. Rumpus. Just because you've got a louder voice than everyone doesn't make you right. The reason to have Bear with me, everybody shut up. John, can you highlight the heading of what this is describing, please? What does that say, Rumpus? That's a hypothesis, but it's also describing So we are specifically well. talking about a... What? But Sorry? this is John's writing. He's a he's a literate moron. Sorry, I mean, let's just shut you up. Where's this from, John? Is this your writing? No, it's from Kristen McClellan. The nature of science and the scientific the method. The geological shut society. Rumpus, just America. because you can talk louder and over everybody doesn't mean you can deny reality. You are in fact hey. wrong here, Rumpus. Totally wrong. A I'm hypothesis, totally right. as defined here, not you by John. Try to shut up. Rumpus, we're trying to educate you. We're helping you. You know, you should listen when you should be when you're talking. Simple. <laughs> it's having an explanation for what a hypothesis is. You don't understand what a hypothesis is. I do exactly. You don't. You you mix. You no. Can... You said it right quite clearly. Hypotheses don't contain an independent variable, Rumpus. Yet here's a citation, <laughs> something you refuse to bring up, that makes you look like a jackass. Because you're wrong. <laughs> so, you can do what you're doing, which is talking constantly, but the audience, all 200 of them, get to hear you being humiliated, Rumpus. You're wrong. A hypothesis, scientific prediction, does contain... And there's contain... an experiment in there as well, isn't there, Nathan? 
does contain an independent variable, Rumpus. You're wrong. Come on, John. Tell Nathan what a controlled variable is. We're not talking about controlled. Independent they are, variable. It's crucial to this as found, about the difference between a hypothesis. As found in a hypothesis, Rumpus. Come on, John. Show me what a controlled variable no, no, is. My name's Nathan. You were wrong, yeah, Rumpus. On, no, well, you don't seem to be understanding. You, you're missing, you're ignoring the point yeah, that I'm you making. You don't understand what a hypothesis is. You asserted that it doesn't contain an independent variable. That's only contained within an experiment. And you are wrong. I would assert, based on your inaccuracy, that you are also stupid because you continually talk when it's being explained to you. It's the sad but come truth. on, John, explain to Nathan what a controlled variable is. We're talking about an independent variable. Something yes, you asserted and there's other is not as well, Nathan, in and you a hypothesis. And it is, Rumpus. You're wrong. You don't recognise the existence of the other variables, do you, Nathan? Then you need Sorry, to. Because we're not you're... talking about the other variables. We are specifically talking about the cause of things. That's what science establishes. That's what we're talking about. Not the bits that you hold constant so they don't have any effect. We're talking about the actual thing that causes the effect. The independent variable. That's what we're talking about. And your assertion was that a hypothesis, scientific prediction, doesn't have one. That makes you, quite literally, things, but a in the dumbass. hypothesis, you just talk about variables. But in the just experiment, you controlled and independent and dependent variables. So, just John, talking, you got that right. Well done. Just talking non-stop, Rumpus. Just and just talking non-stop. Can you explain to Nathan what are controlled variables? And it's still participating. Sorry, Rumpus, like I'm not going to have this for the rest of the show. But so, you're just talking non-stop. To have the non -stop. cause and effect, you have to have the other things present, as in the Cavendish experiment. You have to have those two balls. If you removed one of the other variables, you would have no effect at all. So, you can't ignore them. They're always there, but they're just constant. They're controlled you said variables. You said experiment? Is yeah, that what you said? Yeah, he said it's the Cavendish experiment. Oh, the experiment. Okay, well, let's go. Step one. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I have the other clown's remarks. Uh, are we still presenting? Yeah, you're still presenting. Maybe yes. Rumpus can yeah. take us through it. Okay, I'm happy yeah. to do so. Oh, should I erase these? Yes, please. Let's, let's just take these out. It's going to be the same thing, but... <sighs> Okay, natural phenomena observed, please. Mass attracts mass. So you can observe mass? Things that have mass attract other things with mass. Uh, can you define mass force? It's the acceleration that something acquires as a result of a particular force being applied. The mass is that ratio. Do you have a citation, please? Oh, God, right, okay. You realize I have the definition up right now on the screen. And there you are, the change in motion as a result of a net force applied. So there you, you've affected this effectively repeating what I just said. It, and it even mentions the word acceleration. So yes, that's effectively the definition I just gave you. Okay. And do you realize that inertia is also the same definition? Yes, indeed. And inertia is the, um, when you have a free body, inertia is the same as its mass. And, but you never so, find inertia used in equations in science. It's just a sort of general description. Uh, we're not mass concerned with equations. We're concerned with the definitions of the term of acceleration, the mass. Of force. Inertia now, is more of a concept. It's not two, used. We have two different words with yeah, the same definition. Yeah, they the same thing in this case. We have two different words and they mean the same, same thing definition. They mean the same that's, thing. That's inane. In the case of a free body, they mean the same thing. Yeah, so mass and inertia... Or the, the same, same thing for a free body. So we have, like I said before, we have the same definition, right? For two different words. That's a problem. So they mean let's the same move away thing. from that. Effect, for a free let's body, go back, the same because thing. we want to embarrass you on this one. No, you're a moron if you don't That's, understand that. Anybody yeah, who's I, done... Ad hominem. Anybody, a 15-year-old who's done physics knows okay. this. Okay. So natural phenomena. Zerb, you said mass attracts mass. Things with mass so attract Let's just roll with, with that. Yeah. I'm like things okay, with mass. Mass, said, mass, mass, so mass is a can, property of something. So okay, you can say you so want to be particular. You can say things with mass attract other things. Mass observed mass is attracts mass the dependent variable also. So let's just put that right there. Okay, alternative hypothesis, please. Mass doesn't attract mass. That's the alternative. Yeah. Mass. Oh, sorry. Is it? Uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, sorry. The alternative is the mass. Sorry, no, I got that right. Yes, mass. yes, you're right. I got that wrong way around. Right. Because it's the null hypothesis that it was the main mass doesn't attract mass. Yeah. So this is the 
Yeah, no, it, so could you correct that, please? I meant to say, mass, I was thinking, I thought you were going to type for the null hypothesis, but not, this is the alternative. Yeah, so mass attracts mass is the alternative hypothesis. Hold on one second. So you're this saying null this definition I wrote, would you calm down, please? I can't hear anything. Okay. So you're saying that, hold on, wait a second. You're saying the alternative hypothesis that you just gave me is what you meant for the null? Yes. Is that what you so the null okay. hypothesis mass doesn't okay. attract mass, and the okay. alternative okay. hypothesis is that mass okay. does attract mass. Okay. So the alternative hypothesis well, is uh, that. Uh, sorry, can I just can I quantify this? Because of course science is all about quantifying. The alternative no. hypothesis is actually, of course, the quantifying of that and presenting of that formula that the force between can masses. You give me the alternative the, hypothesis, the, please. The, the alternative hypothesis is the force between masses is equal to g times the product of the masses divided by r squared. That is the Succinct description or of the alternative. What? Say it slowly. Language, the language of science is Holy math. shit, Rumpus. The language of science Holy is shit. math. The language of science can, is math, and you always can you please give me the alternative and you present hypothesis. A <laughs> relationship between the things. Oh I've just my god! Man, that was it's hard to Right, hold science. on. Uh, I think I figured a way around this. Everybody, let Rumpus say this sentence at least once. Then I won't allow him to repeat it fifty times. Then we'll move on. Go ahead, Rumpus. Right, so the force, the alternative hypothesis, the force between masses is equal to the product of the masses divided by the distance between them squared. That is the alternative hypothesis. And it's the formula I've got in my avatar window there that you okay, can see. Okay, can you say that? Can you say it slowly? Can okay. you see my screen? It's, well, it's actually G. Okay, I'll say it very slowly then. The universal, universal constant of gravity, big G, times one, the first one mass. Wait a minute. Hold on, wait a second, wait a second. Hold on, hold on. Divided by oh. the distance between them squared. Oh my god. This is... Okay, so I go through it. Sorry, if I go into it quickly, I'll do it again. Okay, here we go. I'll do it, I'll try and do it slowly. Is the, look look the at my screen. Look at what I got right now. The force between masses is equal to the product of the masses. The two masses. We're, two, we're dealing with two masses. The two masses, we should say. Okay, hold on. Can you have two masses in there, please? Okay times the universal gravitational constant divide sorry Karen. divided by the distance between the two masses squared Should be the center of the two masses, of course. Is that good? Can you read that? Yeah, I'll do. I mean, obviously, I would have put it in actual maths terms. I would have just said f is equal to g m one m two divided by r squared. But you've used words for it, and that's because you don't you don't like maths. But here we go. But that will do. No, maths yeah. are not hypotheses. Yeah, they, they are, are hypotheses. All no, they, they are. They are. All the full science has hypotheses formed in the form of a no, mathematical they equation. They have none. Zero. Math is not yeah, physics. Yeah. So, but, I mean, John, are you capable of writing that? John, are you capable of copying what I've got on my avatar? I'm just you just in there confirm that this is your alternative hypothesis, please? Yeah, but but you see, the, the reason we use maths is because it's succinct confirm and exact. Shut this up. Is your I'm talking about moron in the background. I'm answering a question, you idiot. No, you're an absolute so shut up, moron. Shut Eric, up. Come, on. come on. No, no, no. no, no. Eric, just let this not descend even further. <laughs> okay. I, Can you just confirm reality. that that is your alternative hypothesis? No, it's the are language of reality, uh, moron. Uh. Just tell me, are you happy with it, Rumpus? What's on screen? Uh, well, let me, I would like let me John to copy it. my form, but it will do. It will do. The force between masses. Oh, my God. The force between masses is equal to the product of the two masses multiplied by the universal gravitational constant divided by the distance between the two masses squared. Is that correct? That is correct. It would look, look a lot better if it's in mathematical okay. form. It's much shorter. Okay. It will do, I don't care what that it, will do for the moment. Okay. Like. That's fine. Great. Okay. What is your independent variable in your hypothesis? Right. Because it's a hypothesis, you've got three variables. So we're talking about the experiment no. now. We're not talking about the hypothesis. No, we're talking about hypothesis, the I just gave you the definition. Number yeah, one no, and number two, no, it has no, a wrong, dependent wrong. variable. We're now talking about the experiment. Right here, and an independent yeah. variable. Yeah, yeah now, now what you're is about experiment. We've got, hold on, let me, let me answer. 
In my hypothesis, you'll see that I've got three variables. I've got the two masses and I've got the distance between them. So in my experiment, I've got to decide which one I want We're to be in the We're not at the experiment variable. stage yet. And We're I'm at the hypothesis the stage. John, John, you know this. Rumpus. John, you know this. You know so that hold on a second, Rump variable. John, so Rumpus, make... John, both of you. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So right, we are, I... hold on, Rumpus. We're not at the experiment stage. We are. Well, okay. Well, this is the point. In the experiment, you've got to decide. I'll I've say it again for the dumb, with. deaf idiot. We are not yet at. I've got three variables at... to play with. Shh. I've got three variables to play Shh. with, and now we're talking Shut about the Shut up. We're not at the experiment stage. We're at the stage prior to that. Hypothesis stage. Okay. No, we're not. The, the question that John is asking is about the experiment. What is my independent variable? There are three variables. Does this look like an hypothesis. experiment? I'm at the hypothesis stage, and I no, just went to the no. independent variable. Well, yeah, that's why you're stupid, John. You don't understand. Right, he's just giving you an ad hominem, so I'll say it for the audience again. Before experiment comes hypothesis. That's the stage we're at. Yeah. No, we're not, because John has jumped by talking What do you mean, no, we're not? Yes, we are. John. Nobody's doing any experiments here, okay? Yes. Right, John, do you understand I've got three... Don't ask him something. I'll say it again, because you're an idiot. We're not at the experiment okay, stage. Okay, right, so hold on. In the hypothesis you've just written down for me, do you understand there are three variables? John. Do what you is your that? independent variable? Hold on, John, do you understand there are three variables in that alternative hypothesis? Then the hypothesis is void. No, it's not. Almost all hypotheses have got more it's than one variable. It's a complex hypothesis. It will it's not almost suffice. Almost all hypotheses you come across will have more than one oh, variable. Sorry, bear with me a second. Okay. Can I just ask Grumpus a question? Oh, we don't have hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. Does the fact that almost all hypotheses are complex hypotheses... They're not me, complex. That's... Grumpus, I didn't no even finish my question. Oh, Nathan, what an you. asshole. My question was going to be, before Rumpus started talking continually was does the fact, as he asserts, that almost all of them are, make any difference to the fact that a scientific prediction requires an independent, one, singular, on its own, variable? Does it make any difference that almost all of them don't have it? Absolutely wrong, Nathan. That almost all, f all predictions involve more than one variable. How can you not know this? How sorry, can you Jim, not know sorry. this? We are talking, Let's take your sorry, Nathan. Let's you said almost all predictions. So that's a false equivalency. We're not talking about almost all predictions. We're talking about scientific hypothesis. Scientific predictions, not almost all predictions. I don't care what almost all predictions do. We're talking about something very narrow, something very specific, a scientific prediction. Right. For instance, let's suppose, let's talk about an apple dropping no, to the ground. No, what is your what? independent variable in this alternative hypothesis, please? The, the do not have independent variables in the hypothesis. You have them in the experiment. <laughs> really, dickhead. Right, John, let's just nip this in the bud for the se second time so we can sound about this twice and let's keep it concise so we can have it for him. Let's see if he listens or talks continually like stupid people do when they're wrong and don't want to accept it. Variable, Nathan. How can you not know this? Rumpus, Rumpus, please. I mean, this is so basic. Uh, yeah, Rumpus, I know. Can please? I? Please? Look, you are proposing good, there's a good that lad. An and you, Owen. There's a good lad, Rumpus. There's a good okay. lad. It's on screen. Maybe no. Rumpus would like to read it, like we do at school when we're trying to educate people. Right. right, there in the red, it says there should be no other variables in the experiment. They're talking about the experiment in there, not the hypothesis. Sorry, read the heading first, Rumpus. Let's start with the heading. What is this heading describing? What claim is that this is just a hypothesis, not the experiment? And then it talks about the experiment, doesn't it, right. Nathan? Right, so, so the, the hypothesis will be expressed as an experiment. But we're not yet talking about the experiment. We're talking about the scientific prediction, also known as the hypothesis. That's what we're doing. We're not actually experimenting. We're talking about... What's that heading again, John? What's the heading of this called? I forget. Oh, yes! We're talking about a hypothesis. You're self-refuting, John. You're self-refuting. You've now mixed up experiment and hypothesis and you don't realise it. You're a moron. And Nathan's even more of a moron because he only he gets all his information from you and just repeats it without understanding any of it. You Rumpus, can I have some source material and an experiment for your specific version of okay, uh, allowing complex hypotheses okay, basically Arwen. as causation oh, okay, experiments? Okay, Arwen, just consider can I have a source for that? Okay, Arwen, I'm trying to be allowed to talk, Arwen. I'm trying to talk, Arwen. 
Okay. Oh, Owen, he won't let you talk. Think... So maybe Citation? I can just ask the question oh. directly. Oh. So Rumpus, does a complex hypothesis no give you thing. give you a presumed cause? There are three causes, for instance, in this not example. My question. Also, it's it's not yes my question. No. Shall I repeat my question? Didn't you understand it? Well, it's singular. There are three causes. Let me ask so again. Listen up, cause. Bonehead. Listen up, Bonehead. Does a complex hypothesis give you a presumed cause? I'll put that as causes. No, that's not <laughs> what I asked, you stupid I know, idiot. that's why Don't change my words. Answer my question. Does a complex hypothesis give you a presumed cause? That's an invalid definition of hypothesis because you don't have causes. Oh, sorry. Invalid definition of hypothesis. Can you see what's on screen? Yeah, but that's what John's written. He's an idiot. Why should I... Oh, sorry. Let's just say it again because you talk when you should listen. Did you write no, this, you John? No, you should listen to me. Try to listen, Rumpus. I know you're I'm stupid. I'm 100% I hypothesis. know you're stupid and you can't listen. I'll just ask John with you on mute because you can't shut up as well as not listen. So, Rumpus, try to pay attention. Did you write this, John? I wrote this down there we go from so, wait a second wait a second i'm not multiple. done yet uh, i wrote this right, have some I, patience I, rumpus I, let's shut him up again you listening conspiracy cats when i'm dealing with assholes i have to shut them up otherwise they talk continually thinking that they can sense a reality that's what rumpus is doing so i'll ask the question again as rumpus has asserted that john wrote this down so john are these your words they are not my words. However, I did write them down. I wrote them down from this PDF. This is from Kristen McClellan from the Nature of Science and the Scientific Method, the Geological Society of America. And what's it describing? I know there's a heading, but just because Rumpus is a bit slow. This is defining you what a like scientific it, hypothesis is. Ah, oh, win. Nathan, when you uh, accelerate your car, do you, what do you think the acceleration is dependent this on? Is Shut up, a you definition. absolute retard. Yep. You have said on two separate occasions on this very show that a hypothesis does not contain an independent variable. You are stupid. You are more, yeah, Nathan. Did you understand there are multiple yeah, causes to almost general everything? science. John, you're not stupid as Nathan. John, do you understand that when you accelerate in your car, there are several variables that determine how fast you accelerate? Not just one. There's the power of the car, the mass of the car, the grip, the tyres and everything. So there are multiple causes. Even the most simple examples, there are multiple variables, not Listen, just there's one. multiple causes for pineapple upside down cakes. I understand that. Exactly. But we're right. not there so yet. Nathan we're at this. a hypothesis. You yes, said and hypo so that there are no Rumpus, try to, try to have so a two-way conversation, so John, Rumpus. Not I just your own voice, size. Rumpus. Try to have a two-way conversation with somebody. I know so, stupid John. people struggle to have a discourse with people. That's so, you. John, do you understand? Shout out to Billy Wazza for the chat. Thanks very much, Warren. I'll say it again, Rumpus. I know we're dealing with children, but try to have a two-way <laughs> conversation. You Right, so John, do you understand if you were to accelerate in a car, there are multiple causes to how quickly you accelerate? So yes, that's an obfuscation. We're still yeah. trying to develop a hypothesis, and now we're trying to explain to a bonehead, that would be you, Rumpus, that a hypothesis does contain an independent variable, as defined here. In an experiment, Nathan, where you are... No, no, no. Not an experiment. A hypothesis will explain details about the experiment in the future... But we're not doing the You're experiment. The we are first making a scientific prediction. That's called and a that's hypothesis. hypothesis. Wait, wait, wait. Nathan, Nathan. Oh, my why, God. Why don't we let Rumpus... Why don't we let Rumpus explain how do we design a experiment? Like, what is the process? Right. I would love to be able to... Yes, I'd love to get a sentence out. So in the case, for instance, the Cavendish one is an excellent example of an experiment. We've got three variables. So in the experiment, although we've got three causes, <laughs> three causes combined with a constant universal Unbelievable. gravitational constant. So we've got three constant, three variables and one constant. So in the experiment, you've got to say, ha ha, now I just want to be able to vary one. Is I want to isolate it. So what you can then do is that I'm going to vary only one of the masses in my alternative hypothesis that we wrote out earlier uh, in my experiment i'm going to keep everything else constant a controlled variable which john knows all about nathan doesn't understand it and then you just vary one of them 
So you just simplify things and then you vary, but you've got to have the other things present in the Cavendish experiment. You can't take away the other mass. You've got to keep them a certain okay. distance apart. So you vary your independent variable and then you get an effect on the dependent variable. But all the other variables, the controlled variables are still participating. If they weren't there, nothing would happen. So your hypothesis has three variables, but in your experiment, you have one independent variable. There is a difference between the hypothesis Ex and the experiment. Excuse you me, you said three variables in a hypothesis. I only see two here in this definition. Well, if you hey, John, hey, John. In the alternative the Geological yeah. Society of America deals with pseudoscience. They actually support that cli man made climate change, just so you know. Yeah, yeah, I understand that, but the uh -huh. reference. John, you said reference, you understood were three It's not really listen, a reliable listen, listen, listen. scientific source. No, see, they can talk the talk, but they can't walk the walk. This no, is I'm correct. presenting it right now. It's their this official is a correct, statement. This is a correct well, definition of a hypothesis. I have 30 other hypothesis. ones, so this is just one. John, so, you said you recognize with three you variables. you understand, hypothesis. Rumpus, you said a hypothesis does not contain an independent variable. It has variables. This, this definition says that it not only contains it, it's the damn most important thing of it. That's an experiment, so, John, where you have control. So, it says see, we're not talking about control it says variables. at the top of the page, this is not detailing the experiment, Rumpus. It, it is, is detailing... John has got them confused. John no. has got confused between the John experiment and John hasn't the done this. This isn't John's definition for the third time, John. Can you tell him where this came from for the third time? Because he's that dumb and deaf and stupid. Yes, it's Kristen McClellan, The Nature of Science and the Scientific Method from the Geological Society of America. But, John, do you recognize, in my hypothesis, I've got three variables. Do you understand that? Yes, we recognize this, implicitly yeah. that your hypothesis is not scientific. It does not establish an independent variable. It does not have a presumed cause of the effect. It has three. There are three causes, yeah, Nathan. This is yeah. three causes. So, yeah. so, John, do you recognize there are three variables in that alternative hypothesis that we wrote out? Hey. Do you recognize there are three variables in that alternative hypothesis that we wrote out earlier? Yes, which makes it Great. void. So then the question is, what? how do you do an experiment? Because you only want which to make one. Which makes it you want to... void. Yeah, you're an idiot, Rumpus. You don't understand what science is. I mean, it is pretty sad. This is what you learn in high school. Why didn't you pay attention in high school to what the scientific method was and what an independent variable was? Where is the step that took you from them explaining that an independent variable was the sole cause to you thinking there's, that you can have three. never a sole cause, Nathan. A three the wrong causes, type of hypothesis, Rumpus. No. Arwen, consider you're the You're overgeneralizing hypotheses. Arwen, consider the car a specific type race. of hypothesis no, you're a moron, to you're establish a cause to things cannot be complex. Cause. You're a moron. You're a moron. If you no, oh, you're, you're, geez, just, see, this you're is where being it technically to. very incorrect. No, I'm absolutely A1 no, on you're the money being here. you're very incorrect. You you're don't understand. Oh, God, you need education. No, I am understanding. You need education. complex hypothesis cannot establish a cause to things. There are three... Hold on, hold on. Rumpus, can you give us a citation that says that a scientific hypothesis will contain three variables? Can you give us a no, citation? I didn't say, no, I said, three, three independent variables. variables. Three independent variables, that's right. Can you give us a citation? We've I know, I never one. mentioned the hypothesis having independent variables. I'm saying they don't have independent variables. Well, that, I'm saying they have a variables. citation to back that up. Right, in this particular case, in the one I'm proposing with this formula, the F is equal Not to G. Not what you're proposing. A citation to back up your assertion that in a scientific experiment or a hypothesis, you can have three. Yeah, so you got it Let wrong, me finish. Nathan. Let me finish. Let me finish, Dumbo, that experiment. can't listen. Dumbo, let me finish in my sentence. You have one Dumbo, hello, Dumbo. Variables. Try and listen to the question. No, you, Find you a wrong, you? Let you me have a an experiment again. Yeah, Rumpus, try to listen. Give me a citation that demonstrates that you can have three independent variables in a scientific experiment please you can't give... because you mixed up experiment and hypothesis again haven't you <laughs> show you know, the, so, so show us a experiment. citation that has oh, let, three let me, let me independent out, variables in a no, hypothesis then yeah. so give me five seconds in an experiment don't tell ex us about the experiment you've just said i've got confused about that i concede my bad i am wrong i meant to say Show me where you can have three independent variables in no, a hypothesis. No, don't. 
you don't, they're not independent, but they're just variables. They're three variables in the hypothesis. And oh, it's... my bad. Why do they call them independent variables and make such a lot of fuss about defining what the IV and DV do in all of these explanations about what science is, Rumpus? In the experiment, we have two controlled variables in the Cavendish experiment and one independent variable. Oh, no, that's in the Cavendish yeah, experiment. Yeah, he said, oh, wait a second, he said he had an independent variable here. Okay, in the what experiment. Is it? In the experiment. But in the the hypothesis, experiment is a hypothesis experiment. test. You no, get do you the see what he's doing? Rumpus is I'm telling you how it is, moron. No, you're trying to make the two things mutually exclusive, and you're an idiot. They're not. They're not exclusive. But you've got. To you're trying to make them as. You're trying but, to make. You're trying to totally disconnect a hypothesis from the experiment mode. And Eric, do you understand? In my hypothesis, no, I, I do not understand. I do okay. not understand. I do not stand okay. under your BS. Okay, I'll make a very simple statement. I do, do not understand? stand under your BS. You're, do you're you understand? In my hypothesis, I've got no. three variables. In your hypothesis, no. it's not scientific. You're just right. an idiot pretender clown who asserts shite and makes out that that's real without any affirmation of it, without any citation to back it, without it yeah. actually conforming to the actual definitions of these things. An so independent Eric, variable that... is one thing, your presumed cause in the hypothesis. When we ask you to give it or define it, you say it's almost always more than one, even though every definition you will ever find of a scientific hypothesis, a scientific prediction, will explain that you have an, singular, one, independent variable. In an experiment, yes. No, in a hypothesis, a scientific prediction, the thing that you will establish prior to your experiment. It will define what happens in the experiment. It will define what you presume is the cause, the independent variable. That will all be established in the hypothesis, your scientific prediction. But which has three variables. No! <laughs> it has an independent variable, the presumed cause of the effect. Not three you're just a retard. You haven't bring up, brought up any citation. You've just asserted it. In a hypothesis, I've got... Yeah, you're just asserting it again. You're not it's citing anything. Fallacy. You're not proving anything. You're just asserting it like we should somehow believe that somebody who doesn't ever shut their mouth for more than 10 seconds is suddenly the authority on what science is. You're not. You're a bonehead. Okay, Nathan, I can prove it to example by if you just give me five seconds. I mentioned the other case. If we, let's forget about cameras for a moment. If I wanted you to tell me, I wanted a scientific hypothesis, how fast your car would accelerate. Five. That's not established cause and effect with an observed phenomena. You're talking about a man-made device, you complete idiot. That's so a you car. Want to say to me, I know. Oh, well, OK. If you don't like the idea of a car, we can think of some other system like the... So you can't give it me in five seconds. You can no. just obfuscate a little bit right, while you try right and redefine what science is. You're a bonehead. We've, we've been here for 30 minutes trying to get what independent variable is from this alternative train wreck hypothesis, right? 30 minutes. Yeah, maybe we'll ask again. Rumpus, we've got the... Uh, why do I even bother? We've got the hypothesis on screen. Let's see if you can actually give us, without rumpusing the hangout continually... Uh, why am I even bothering? Shall I just say it like it is? I'm trying to give you a proof here that you will understand. Can't sense the reality, Rumpus. I'm trying to get a sense of Nathan, out. I'm trying to give you an answer. That you'll yeah, I'm trying to explain that we've had this on for about half an hour and you haven't given us an independent variable. So, are you going to continually censor the reality or censor the hangout from hearing this? Because you're not going to. Science is what we're talking about. What you're talking about isn't science. Now, Suddenly become clear to you, Nathan, if you like... Yeah. Yeah, Everything will become clear to you. I don't mind you using him in the hangout because all he's doing is stopping the people in the hangout. No, I'm, I'm trying to give you a very simple explanation, Nathan. We'll prove my point. We want the independent variable in this alternative hypothesis oh. right now. Okay, I'll do that. Give me 10 seconds, John, and I'll come back to right you. Right now. No, I'll do it in 10 seconds. John, Nathan, I'm not, we're not if listening you were to, to you. You're a I would clown. Do it in 10 You're seconds, a John. on <laughs> wiki parroting pretender clown, sir. John, I'll do it in 10 seconds. embarrass yourself in front of John, I'll do it in 10 seconds. 300, no, Eric, 200, I'm, doing that, I'm going to come over and kick you're you. You're a clown. <laughs> um, you. Right, I'm trying to give a 10-second explanation to Nathan so he understands why there are multiple... Oh, Jesus. I mean, I know you want to censor me, guys, but it's not. you can't censor reality. 
if you wanted to know, for instance, how much something's going to crush, so it's in the real world, you go and stand on something. To know how much, to have a hypothesis, how much something would crush and compress, you would need to know, A, how strong the thing was, and B, how much force was applied. So you've immediately got two variables there in your hypothesis. So you should be able to say, even the most simple case, you've got multiple variables in your hypothesis. But in an experiment, what you would do is you would just have one variable, an independent variable, to just you keep the same thing. Right, you've had and you far more them. than 10 seconds. That was just an endless rant about nonsense. If you want to establish a cause and effect relationship with you crushing a can, what do you think caused that? There's no observed phenomena in crushing a can. You are Great, crushing a can. Crushed, you idiot. Listen, idiot. Science I, I, deals with naturally out. occurring phenomena. That's why the top thing, number one, is natural phenomena. Yeah, physical. That's an idiotic argument, Nathan. I'm amazed you make that argument. Uh. Idiotic. Anyway, I'm trying to answer John here. The the independent. What so when is you get around the, the independent variable? I'm okay, John. Here. I'm trying to answer you. So. Now we've moved on to the what you do in the experiment. Give me the independent variable, you yeah, I'm just doing it. I'm clown. trying to do it, moron. I'm trying to do it, but you stop. You're interrupting me. Right. So now you've got the alternative hypothesis. Then you've got to give me the independent the variable before Let I come me through finish, this John. I'll give you the answer. You. Right. So in our, we've got a hypothesis sorted out. So then we need to design an experiment in which we test the hypothesis. And what we'll do is we'll pick on. We making don't two. have an we'll independent two, variable we'll make yet. Two give of it the to variables. Me. We'll make two of the variables control give variables. It to me. We'll make two of the variables controlled variables in this experiment, and we'll have one independent variable. So the independent variable we pick on will be one of the masses. So, John, you can write down in the experiment phase, we pick on one mass as our uh, independent variable. So there you go. But that's an experiment, What's the not a Wait hypothesis. A second. What's the independent variable? In the experiment, but not in the hypothesis. You've got this in the wrong place. But we'll have one of the masses <laughs> because we can pick one of three. Yeah, we can pick on. one of our three variables. We'll make two controlled variables. And we'll make the other one the independent variable. Well, that independent what variable will be the mass. So mass. Yes, After one of the masses. One of the masses. Minutes, we get and two the other controlled variables. Independent variable, right? And two other mass. controlled variables. So two other controlled mass variables. Mass causes mass attracts mass, right? And we've got That's two other what this variables is. In there. So let's just put so, this in here, right? Mass causes mass attracts mass. I mean. You have got to be, I, I mean, this, this isn't even stupid. This is full on hospice slobber nurse territory. Mass causes mass attracts mass. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Awesome. Awesome. Right. I think with that, I'll probably round the show out. Anything you want to add, John? I'll take that as a no. With that, I'll say first and foremost, a huge, massive, enormous thank you to all of the live audience for tuning in and hopefully sharing this debate. And of course, a massive thank you to all of the live panel for making this debate possible. If you hated the show, then you know exactly what to do. But if you liked it, maybe consider sharing it with a friend or subscribing if you've not done so already. I've been Nathan Oakley, and I'll see you all in the next video. Oh, what a day! What a lovely day!